Hi, Kristen here, and I help busy single moms and entrepreneurs remove blocks to achieve financial success fast, to enjoy a rich life full of joy, peace, and abundance. And today is part three of a six-part series about more activities to become a money magnet. And today is all about releasing your excuses around money. Yes, very powerful stuff. And again, if you're just joining me and you're like, what, part three? If you wanna see part one, go back to my blog at wwwkristen ann forward slash zero eight. That'll get you linked in, or you can subscribe to my channel and you'll see all of my stuff there. As always, I have a great download to go with this training, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. As you know, anytime I do any of our mindset trainings, I like to do a little centering exercise so we can get maximum benefits. So go ahead and close your eyes. Get very comfortable in the chair you're in. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Get your sit bones into that chair. Hands resting comfortably on your lap. Palms up, palms down, however you want, however it feels comfortable. And just start taking some slow, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Continue in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, have your eyes closed. And if you're driving a car, don't close your eyes. Keep breathing in, exhaling out. And just imagine this wave of gossamer light just coming down over your head. Just feel it go over the front of your face, down through the back of your neck. Just feel everything um, relaxing, your jaw, your cheeks, your mouth. Everything feels relaxed. The back of your neck and shoulders are relaxing. Your chest is relaxing. Feel this light. Imagine it going down your arms all the way to your fingertips, then down through your torso, into your hips, through your quads, your hams, your knees, your shins, your calves, all the way through your ankles, heels, through your feet, out through your toes. Just feel this relaxation. Keep breathing nice and slow and deep. And know that you, are, you have nowhere else to go, nowhere else to be, but right here in this training. That you have perfect timing, that you happen to find this training when you did, and you're gonna be hearing the information that you are needing to hear today. Another deep breath in, exhale out. Just feel your heart open and your mind open to all the possibilities. And that you will be able to take one or two tips from today's video and blog and use it and start to take action as you start to tackle those financial goals you have for yourself and your family. Take another deep breath in, exhale out, and just congratulate yourself for doing something good for yourself today. Another deep breath in, exhale out. When you're ready, start wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers, your shrugging your shoulders, and open your eyes. And we're gonna get after today's lesson. All right, my lovelies, after today's lesson, you're gonna be able to get after those very deep down hidden excuses and beliefs that have been holding you back and start replacing them with these money magnetizing beliefs that this whole six part series is about. So this is just one more way to get after your financial goals. I'm just giving you more tools for your toolbox. Okay, here we go. Step one, ditch the victim mentality. So what do I mean by this? First, in order to experience being a money magnet, you have to take full responsibility for your life where it is at this point. So there are no more excuses. There's no more being a victim, like, well, this happened to me, or so-and-so did this to me, this is what it is. You own it. It's so empowering when you're just like, you know what, this is my hot mess. I created it, but guess what? As easily as I created it, I can create a new experience because you are the creator in this story called your life. During this transformation, you're gonna take on this new attitude that you are 100% responsible for your life. You can create 
a new experience around money. Just like you created the past experience around money, you own that, you own the hot mess with that, you're gonna own the new stuff, because it's you, you're doing the work, you're putting in the effort, you're finding different trainings, I'm sure you, not just with me, you're getting other different types of trainings to have a better experience. So be empowered, take on that responsibility because it's just so free. You're just like, yeah, it's mine, got it, I'm gonna fix it. And in order for this true change to occur, you need to have this new mindset. An empowering mindset that gets rid of all those limiting beliefs, those limiting stories, all those excuses that you've been giving yourself over the years because that was a protective mechanism. Now you're stripping it away and it is all you. You got this. You're gonna have the empowered thoughts. You're going to get after it. So no more victim mentality. You are taking on the mindset of, I am the creator of my reality. I'm creating these experiences with money. Now you may be thinking, oh, that's real great, Kristen, but you know what? Things just happen to me. It's just not my fault. I try really hard, but stuff just happens. If you really look at things that have happened, there were probably places along the way you could of course correct it. So take responsibility for that. It is okay to say, you know, you messed up and you made bad mistakes. So, and let go of limiting excuses like, you know, I don't have a college degree. I don't have, um, you know, the taxes are too high. Uh, bank loans are too high for me to get a house. I mean, all these different things that we like to pile on of like, oh, see, you know what? That's why I can't get a house. Bank loans are too high. No, what? all right, then let's not get a loan, right? Let's take charge to make your, you know, create your own reality. How are you gonna make this work? So no more victim mindset. All right, step two, replace the excuses. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here with all my training. So we release something, we replace it with something else. So you're gonna replace these excuses with new thoughts, beliefs, and feelings. All right, well, people always forget the feelings part. You're just like, oh, I'm thinking all this stuff. Add in the feeling of, these new empowering thoughts. What does it feel like when you're like, yeah, I got this. This is my new life. These are my new attitudes. This is all me. How does that feel, right? So get it through your body as you're going through this exercise. And as you replace these excuses with your new thoughts and feelings, I need you to start recognizing or finding evidence that things are changing for you, well, small or big. So maybe the evidence starts as small as finding a nickel while you're out walking, and then maybe a dollar, and then maybe somebody who owes you money repays you, and then suddenly you get a pay raise at work, and then, you know, as this confidence is growing and you're showing gratitude and all of these things, and you're replacing your excuses with these new thoughts and feelings, you're like, dang, I'm gonna go get, you know, start a business, or I'm gonna go look into investing in real estate because I am keeping and holding my money and so I need to find actions to save and invest it. So just start looking for that evidence. Just know it is all possible. What's really cool is you get to decide and you get to create it. It's all you. That's the exciting part. All right, step three, keep the faith. <laughs> oh. Yeah, easier said than done. When you're transitioning your mindset to a more empowering mindset, you have to keep the faith. As you're waiting for this more money to come towards you and the new ideas, new adventures that you're gonna be able to take to create more of this money, you need to keep the faith. So don't think like, well, nothing showed up today or tomorrow, you know, like, oh, it's this dumb stuff, it doesn't work. Keep the faith. The minute you start doubting, the minute you are letting in these disempowering thoughts and it's almost like starting over so you want to keep your thoughts and beliefs and all of those patterns your actions in a money magnetizing mindset right and just keep the faith it will happen you will create it if you are doing all of these things but the minute you start doubting and eh, it's not that work you're just kind of backtracking you gotta get your momentum up again. So just stay there, keep your momentum going, and knowing it's gonna happen. You're doing the work, it's gonna happen for you. Why am I saying it like this? Because I'm living proof of that. I started my transformational journey years ago, and I had little successes here and there, but I didn't keep the faith well at all. I just would go back to this stuff is dumb, it doesn't work and it would take a little bit more to get myself back into it and, and sometimes I just was like, wash my hands of it and I'm like, forget it. I'm not gonna bother anymore because it doesn't work. 
And then something just kept nagging at me and I knew like, I knew there was something there that I could do, that I could be empowered and I could create these things. I just didn't have to sit around and wait. And so I just dusted myself off and kept that belief and the faith and changed my mindset and was very consistent. Now I'm really kind of excited where I'm at in life and I'm excited to be sharing different things with my audience. So anyway, don't learn from my mistakes. I could have had a lot faster journey, but I just, I didn't believe, I didn't keep the faith like I should have. I have a great download that'll help you identify all these excuses that may be deep down in your unconscious. And you can go through the worksheet to help replace those thoughts, find some feelings and get into that feeling place. So if you'd like that, go to my blog back at www.kristin-ann.com forward slash 1616 and grab that download. Again, uh, this was part three of a six part series. So I got three more to go, more tools and techniques for you. So stay tuned. If you found value in this training, please let me know in the comment section, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that good stuff. You know, let me know no more excuses or your, you know, 100% responsibility, whatever you want to put in the comment section, just, you know, say some encouraging words for all of us that we can uh, learn from one another. And again, speaking of learning, if you know someone who could benefit from this information, please share it because I think the more we know, the better we do. Again, I always look forward to hearing all your successes and especially through this transformation. And as you go through this transformation, remember to always lead with gratitude. Love you guys. Bye.